coal problems. An event which causes the drilling operation to stop is described as a non-productive time NPT, event. Pipe sticking and lost circulation are the two main events which cause NPT in the drilling industry. Well kicks, of course, require operations to stop and when they occur can result in a large NPT. These problems are Differential sticking, mechanical sticking, well kick, lost circulation and other problems. Differential sticking. During all drilling operations the drilling fluid hydrostatic pressure is designed and maintained at a level which exceeds the formation pore pressure by usually 200 psi. In a permeable formation, this pressure differential, overbalance, results in the flow of drilling fluid filtrates from the well to the formation. As the filtrate enters the formation the solids in the mud are screened out and a filter cake is deposited on the walls of the hole. The pressure differential across the filter cake will be equal to the overbalance. When the drill string comes into contact with the filter cake, the portion of the pipe which becomes embedded in the filter cake is subjected to a lower pressure than the part which remains in contact with the drilling fluid. As a result, further embedding into the filter cake is induced. The drill string will become differentially stuck if the overbalance and therefore the side loading on the pipe is high enough and acts over a large area of the drill string. This is shown diagrammatically in figure below. The signs of differential sticking are the clearest in the field. A pipe is differentially stuck if one drill string cannot be moved at all, i.e. up or down or rotated. 2. Circulation is unaffected. Mechanical sticking. In mechanical sticking the pipe is usually completely stuck with little or no circulation. In differential sticking, the pipe is completely stuck but there is full circulation. Mechanical sticking can occur as a result of the hole packing off, or bridging, or due to formation. Hole pack off bridging can be caused by any one or a combination of the following processes. 1. Settled cuttings due to inadequate hole cleaning. 2. Shale instability. 3. Unconsolidated formations. Shale instability. Shale represents 70% of the rocks encountered whilst drilling oil and gas wells. Also shale instability is by far the most common type of wellbore instability. Shales are classified as being either brittle or swelling. Brittle shales tend to fail by breaking into pieces and sloughing into the hole. Rig indications of brittle shale failure include large amounts of angular, splintery cavings when circulating the well large amounts of hole fill unconsolidated formations are usually encountered near the surface and include loose sands gravel and silts unconsolidated formations have low cohesive strengths and will therefore collapse easily figure below and flow into the wellbore in lumps and pack off the drill string